see if I have the replays for... How's your day going, by the way? Got my daughter some bagels. Had her for the morning. Can't complain, that's good. I still have a little bit of something. It's not like a full-blown illness. It's just like a little bit of a tickle in the throat, but... Also energy depletion. I feel like I'm, I caught something that's minor. I feel like I've just been plagued by illness this year. It's been like one rolling into the other. I don't have any Beckroll replays, which makes me kind of sad. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday, I had indeed. Okay, uh, what's... Let's see... Is Pandora seated? I think Pandora was seated. Where's Pandora? Was Pandora seated? No, Pandora versus Balance. Do I have Pandora versus Balance? I do have Pandora versus Balance. Excellent. And then... Losers round one... Boulder Fat. One. Sort of like organizing the folders as I'm going here. I'm not sure why Sva went to Losers Round 2, though. I think he was still part of Losers Round 1. It's showing as Losers 2. I guess I'll put him in Losers 2. Weird. Pander balance, Sterling. So Sterling balance is... That's weird, they're in like both... Okay, they're saying that's the losers one too. Up there. We got Pander versus balance and... Where does... I'm trying to organize all these here. Cross versus Tarpman, that, that'll be a really good one actually. Tarpman cross was... R4. Okay. We'll have less problems with this as we go. Even though right now the internet is deciding to not work. Pandora Balance Game 1. Should be a good one. I haven't seen Pandora. Ooh, can I color? Oh, these do top versus bottom either, so I can't color swap. Fortunately, it's Zerg versus Terran. Shake my finger at these guys. Hold on. Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is from Starcon 2024. I gotta shake my finger at these guys a little bit. We got Pandora starting the upper right hand corner as the yellow Terran bottom left hand corner. We have Balance starting as the mustard yellow Zerg. Unfortunately, I cannot color swap these guys. So we'll just see we'll just see how it goes. Um, balance I casted from the last Starcon. Pandor, I have not casted a lot of Pandora games. Which I'm kind of excited to do because I've seen Pandor around quite a bit. Active in chat, active in uh, various community discords. He was saying, so here's, um, I want to verify this actually. I want to see his level of play kind of rise up. So let me talk about uh, something I've been observing over the last year in particular. So at this tournament, we had Raz, we had Jayun. I think the other top two Protoss in the area are uh, Dragon and Boa. Um, Dragon couldn't make it because of flight problems. By the way, we were seeing it. See, yeah, eight racks. It's, I almost feel like it's not cheese anymore. <laughs> okay, I'll stop mentioning that. Point being, I feel like it's become a much more standard opening for Terran versus Zerg uh, in this era for some reason. Um, but very, very risky build regardless. So, um, and I'll stop harping on that. Um, but pan uh, but basically, you yeah, so you have the, the top guys, Boa... Uh, Boa, Raz, Dragon, Jayun. And then there's kind of like that fifth spot. Okay, okay, who who fills in that fifth spot for Protoss? And I feel like Semi and Ranged are definitely fighting for that spot. And they're very, very close in skill level. I'm sure there's another Protoss I'm forgetting about that will fill in there. But the thing is, is I feel like Semi and Urban have been playing a lot of games against one another. And I've seen some significant improvements between both of them. And it's just, it feels like kind of they're the pack that's like sort of making leaps and bounds and improvements because they're driving each other to be better. And Pandor has been saying that he's kind of the third part of that triumvirate. So you gotta, so if that is true, you basically have a Protoss, a Zerg, and a Terran that in the trifecta have really been pushing each other to be better and better and better. And I would like to see them, yeah, make their way up 
all the way to the top tier. Double SCV scout and a marine making its way bottom left. The drone unfortunately scouting top left, so he's not going to have the, the full win, but it doesn't matter because Pandor opened up. Uh, Overpool looks like he also went for the drone extractor trick. He's looking for where he can send his Zerglings. Unfortunately, the Zergling's a little bit out of position right this second. The Overlord is over that natural expansion. And we'll see these SCVs. And the Zergling's not too far out of position. They should be able to, the, now the question, balance one Zergling making its way back. But this is a smart play here from Balance. He had some additional Zerglings come out to potentially defend that. So he's going to continue with the Zerglings and make a dash towards this natural expansion before this is sealed or blockaded. And are we going to see sufficient SCVs pulled now from Pandor to go ahead and blockade this? So six Zerglings making the way. This is looking very a lot like the, the Zesky games, interestingly enough. So now the SCVs pulled. One Marine gets picked off. The second Marine also gets picked off, but the Zerglings have been cleared. One, only a single Zergling remains, but able to soften up a little bit. And this is where, yeah, things close out. So balance, or sorry, Pandora going to be a little bit later. <laughs> the color's messing with me right, uh, right this second. The other problem with this here is because of the timing of all this, that barracks, it becomes difficult to reseal that natural expansion. Because that barracks needs to keep humming as long as possible. This is, I, I like this adjustment here from Pandor a bit, where he notices that, first of all, okay, I cleaned up all the Zerglings, but also the Zerglings are not coming after me. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that command center and continue to build Marines and actually field out some additional pressure. And it's an in base three hatch for balance. Balance going ahead. So I don't know that Pandor got the gas timing in the midst of all of this. Zergling going to die here, but this is going to apply additional pressure. It's going to force a few additional Zerglings right here, and we'll see if Balance overproduces. The SCV making its way up. He might be able... Okay, he's not able to make it in the main quite yet, but now the Marines feeling like, okay, I forced enough Zerglings out here. Now let's back off. The problem with doing this, though, is Pandor has not resealed... Without sealing this natural expansion, it ends up being a little bit less uh, strong a play. Zergling speed also upgrading the SCV picked off on the front. But this is now a lot of Zerglings that were forced out by Pandor. So nice play right there. It is going to be three hatchery uh, play, which they will become useful down the line. And I this do, I believe this is a tight front door seal. So yeah, that I think Pandor are missing that a half second. You need to lift that barracks back up to go ahead and get that Marine. And also lifting the barracks back up so you can go ahead and plop it down and continue to get the Marines producing out here. So in the meantime, Balance's economy uh, hurt quite a bit. Pandor did not get eyes on the layer timing, so he's going to have to play it uh, close to the nose. Going to go ahead and drop an engineer bait and an academy just starting and going that before second barracks. I'm wondering if he's going to transition into five barracks. I think with all of the initial frustration he's created, I think he recognized, this is very good game sense on Pandor's part, recognized that there was never an opportunity for a drone to make its way out to go ahead and establish a third base and just presumed correctly that balance was went for the in-base third hatchery. And so he's going to try to respond, a, I am guessing, with the five racks play. Right now, making up to the three racks count, the Zerglings patrolling around that natural expansion right this second. A lot of a couple of medics on their way out. We do have Stimpak being upgraded. And then now we see, yeah, that. So that'll this will at least be four, and we'll see if we see the fifth uh, getting dropped. Comsat station also dropped. I'm going to try to, let's try to hit the timing here where the Comsat station finishes and we get some of the initial flurry of Comsats to check. Okay, so checks, sees the Spire timing exactly and therefore may be able to save that second. It looks like it's just going to be, okay, so I was incorrect. I thought this was going to be moved to five racks with plus one weapons. We do have plus one weapons. Stim was queued up first. So it was Academy before Engineering Bay. Uh, so messed that up, but it's going to be four racks to follow up. This is, I think, I feel like this is the very in the middle uh, play here. A couple mutalisks morphing up. We are going up to six mutalisks to deal with this. Good medic marine ball out on the front. Front door remaining sealed, I think, because of the, cleverly, because of the zergling threat here now. Out on that edge. And some missile turrets being constructed. They should be in there in plenty of time. And I think actually Pandor saved himself a little bit of resources to get another SCV out. By canceling the turret at that natural expansion briefly, recognizing he had the time to do so. Plus one weapons being upgraded by balance. The Mutalus in flight. And Pandor, yeah, I gotta say, Pandor looking sharp here. Moving out. Oh, 
one Marine out of position, but moving up to go ahead and greet these Mutalisks and push the Zerglings off the front. And this is actually very, very good play, in my opinion, versus this exact build, which is go ahead and pressure the Mutalisks, knowing that you're going to have... Uh, or, or Ooh! Needs to regather those Marines, though. Losing some... That's not so... That, that might be tournament nerves right there, but push the Zerglings off the front, because... You're at close reinforcement point, and you want to kind of shred and keep that army a bit small, because for Zerg to maintain this, what they really want to do, it looks like an SCV already kind of making its way out there to kind of scout what's going on out in the field. For Zerg, what you want to do is you want to hunt down this army and wipe it out. So the more Zerglings you can... And that's the only time where you feel like you have sufficient map control. Bit of a supply block here for balance, by the way. That's when you feel comfortable enough to go ahead and grab an additional base is when you've either picked off a lot of the Medic Marine Army, or uh, you've wiped that Medic Marine Army clearly off, uh, clear off the field. More Mutalists. This is a lot of Mutalists right now. Ooh, Balance shredding into it, too. He'll have eight once they rejoin. Now the Zerglings join that fray, but Pandora getting a lot of damage on them. So now it's now it's six on that field, and he was able to take down a lot of those Mutalists. Still no third hatchery dropped as of yet. And I think this is because Balance just does not feel comfortable with the size of the med, uh, of the medic marine ball, unfortunately, the medic's a little bit separated right this second. Plus one weapon's just about to finish, and another big marine ball making its way out. Factory timing, uh, decent, but we don't have the starport timing out just yet, and that starport very very important. But Pandora in a really good situation here, making its way out. SCV trying to get some additional scouting as far as what's going out in the field. A flurry of comsats to find the third base. We have a uh, slew of sunken colonies dropped and Balance continuing to invest in Mutalist, maybe feeling that he did poorly enough in the early stages that this is maybe going to be a, I think this is going to turn into a Muta Lurker all-in, potentially as the follow-up. We'll have to see if this drone drops an Evolution Chamber or not. Pandor found, I don't know that he saw the drone at the natural up here, but started pushing up that direction. A couple Mutalists finding the Medic Marine Ball and starting to gather to go ahead and engage it, that Marine not long for life. The medic's a bit separated as well. Balance not able to capitalize on it, however, but still getting some nice damage done. He's buying himself some time, but he really needs to put himself in a kill maneuver situation right here. And uh, plus one weapon's about to finish for him as well, but he still doesn't have a third, so he's basically all in with this. Still sitting at the 27 drones, and he's losing a lot of health on these Mulas in the forward field, and Pandor in the meantime, he does have that, star he's got the double star port up, a lot else going on. And Pandor just needs to, yeah, keep focus firing on these Mutalists. Make sure he doesn't lose too many Marines out in forward field. And he should be in a really good shape. Looks like he's going to be able to pick off an Overlord in forward field as well. So, big supply lead. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> yeah, sneeze commentary. The few, the rare. So now, okay, Balance has three sunken colonies out. But, and he does have a drone out. But this is a very late, like, usually you want to be at, like, Hive Tech, something along these lines. And he just doesn't have enough gas. He's got a lot of lurkers, and that'll keep him alive, but that'll keep him boxed, basically, into two bases. And Pandora will be free to just continue to mount up, get those upgrades, get a big uh, ball of medic marines out in the front, and get the science vessel count up and rolling. He's already got that second, second engineering bay uh, moving. We already have a radiate. I think we have a radiate research in the midst of this. A couple marines dying on the forward front, but honestly, losses that Pandora can afford right this second. Balance running forward. No focus fire on the Lurkers. This top... Oh, no! The Marines having trouble backing off a little bit. So Balance at least able to get a bit of movement out on the front. And a third base has been dropped here from Balance. But this... Honestly, this, ga uh, this gas... This gas feels extremely late. Factory also floating bottom right to kind of spot things. Two additional barracks dropping initial... Where are the initial science vessels? expecting science vessels a little bit earlier than that but uh also initial science vessels but balance has scattered out on the map right this second and there are opportunities where lurkers can just scatter around and make something happen right now uh interesting enough balance is able to get out on the map go figure it's still kind of hurting on the drone count his economy is not the best big supply lead for pandor but he's able to get out on the map so pandor potentially maybe wanting to respond by continuing to grow that that uh science vessel count maybe grab a few additional bases um, he can pressure top left. He can also, he could go for a dropship follow-up. I don't think that he's in such a position where he would really need to uh, with that risk. Instead, what he can start doing is, is maybe just start camping out 
dropping gas on the latent lurkers out here. Could, uh, I think he's got enough for Radiate where he could punch through two of the lurkers in top left. It would take a while because of that stack. But uh, definitely a situation where he can potentially threat the Mutals in the meantime, looking for reinforcements to cut off. And for some damage to get done. They'll have to be a little bit careful here, though. Never mind, Radiate was not researched. A uh, little bit of a snafu imbalance in, in uh, Pandora's build. So that's going to give Balance some additional opportunity. And these Marines, without support and that plus one weapons and several Mutals on the front, able to shred through as a result. The science vessels, for, so we got four science vessels making the way top left. Another group of Marines breaking off. They need to be very, very careful. They don't break off in the wrong position. Third gas still not up for balance, however. 40 supply lead. That hatchery's been spotted, as well as those lurkers. And Pandor, so he's left the natural expansion of balance somewhat open. Is not is not opting to engage here, but he can just drop a handful of irradiates in the top left and then be patient and he should be able to to break through here although the marines need to not suicide themselves so radiate also dropped on the mutalist decent split there from balance and balance and pander also going yeah just going to go ahead and punch through and now this is a dead base and again balance dropped to just two bases two two base versus two Terran ends up ahead Ends up in a very good position. And we only we got three fairly damaged Mutalisks. Otherwise, they're going to be able to catch this ball of Marines in between. Cost one of the Mutalisks lives, though. A second Mutalisk goes down. So only two remain. Some nice micro there. Scourge trying to get on the Science Vessels. Not, not able to. And now Balance in a lot of trouble. It was emergency mode before when he lost his third. But this is like old, this is ultra emergency mode. They don't need ultra Lisk in this aspect. So Lurker is just getting swarmed. Plus two weapons up on those Marines. Another Overlord going to get caught out in open field. And Pandora now at, at twice, not only at twice the supply, also leaving a Marine to go ahead and kill that larva just in case the... That, this is actually important to make sure a drone doesn't get built uh, suddenly on the off position. But now he's basically got Pandora, or he's got Balance locked into that natural expansion. He can just drop a series of irradiates on these lurkers heads he can move up with the siege tank if he wants he can bust the front door if he wants with the marines but all he needs to do is stage the marines out to the natural grab his own additional base looks like he's already got a third one built didn't build it on site interestingly enough uh yeah ooh, built another command center in the midst of this so he could actually is he gonna double expand and just float a little bit uh passive considering the the sheer degree of map control he's got right this second but in firm control of this match we have Transportation for Overlord being upgraded from balance is maybe a last ditch comeback effort, but honestly, I just do not see it happening. We've got late game barracks count, we've got double starport absolutely whirling. It's a very, very strong supply, some nice macro from Pandor, all just in case a bunch of turrets out here in the background. And the irradiates are such that the lurkers are having trouble maintaining numbers out here so we got lurkers that are just kind of huddled behind the hydralisks right this second and bet and panda are getting some fantastic value out of the constant irradiates very healthy science vessel count by the way and more incoming and eventually he's just gonna this is the problem for zerg at this stage is you just don't have enough gas i, I, I uh, call it the gas on gas problem where you need enough vesping gas to have enough gas units to out have more than to deal with the medic marine and also the latent irradiates that are out there for the science vessels. So right now the science vessels just able to out out gas. You think of irradiate as a gas itself. I assume it's a gas, right? I mean, maybe it's a radioactive material that they're plopping down, but I feel like Zerg would do well. With, I feel like Zerg would uh, thrive in the face of radioactivity versus whatever the hell is else there. In the meantime, we do have a tech to hive. We have the Defiler Mound being constructed. This can be a turnaround situation, but Pandora would have to really drop the ball uh, for this to... Ooh, might lose a Science Vessel. Nope, actually, nice micro. They're able to save it. Able to pick off a couple Scourge. One landed, but still in a very good situation. The problem with the, also the Defilers being out right this second is as long as Pandora is on top of it and just moves a little bit out, you can just drop and irradiate on that Defiler, which you might right this second. Yeah, you can just continue to drop those irradiates and just back off a little bit and there's not a lot and as long as he stays out of the swarm he has no reason to to instigate in the swarm he's near 100 supply 
might want to just build a dropship just for the hell of it right this second. You can see him going ahead and moving out. Yeah, continuing to drop the irradiates on the gas heavy units. Ooh, that medic marine. Losing a... Uh, and unfortunately now for, for balance the opposite direction, even though he got the swarm out and got a little bit of purchase off, all he's really done is expose a lot of these units to radiates in the space of this. I don't even know that... This is funny, you can fight the... The problem with Dark Swarm is it actually ends up working... It works for Marines underneath as well, so the... It's the splash damage of the Lurkers that does damage, not the baseline missile damage. So Hydralis actually don't do anything under Swarm versus Marines either. Firebats end up, uh, actually end up in a good scenario here. So Pandor now mining at 3 o'clock, mining at the 12 o'clock. Balance has been locked to two bases. His uh, main still has minerals because he's Zerg and hasn't gone for oversaturation here, but this is going to be a busted front in a moment here, as soon as Pandor decides to just stop for it. Looks like he's diving in right now. All the Zerglings getting shredded. Yeah, just tossing units because he can afford to. Nice bit of shred there. Three sunken colonies remain, but... Plus three weapons about to finish. Might get a science vessel, so a little bit of bonus here. But honestly, a very convincing win here for Pandor. GG right there from Balance. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice play from Pandora. Thanks for listening.